everyone and welcome back to a second episode of math modding this is gonna be a really really short video oh you can already hear her um like i said it's a really really short video and that's because it's mainly uh, a continuation of the first episode um but again i did two things well in the first episode we showed the lock picking mechanism or the workstation um, which could give you the lock picks to open up safes and we had the lock picks for um, hiding and unhiding chests in a wall now I was discussing with MBF that it would be cool to have doors to be unlocked uh, or hidden doors um, I could mod this so I can unlock it but I just don't see the point um, but hidden spaces and that's got me thinking what if I hit a ladder so um, this is still the same stock building which doesn't have a basement but this one now does so we've got a secret passage to the basement and up again and um, yeah so no one can get to you um, this is also fun for zombies because there's no ladder here so they can't get down unless they break it um, anyways, we're on to uh, our girlfriend over there, because I've been trying to get NPCs to work. There she is. She is my NPC nurse. What I first started out trying was if I could use the same mechanism um, as I used on this to turn a brass ingot like this into a, a different object. I was trying to convert my tokens by using it on her into say painkillers but that wouldn't stick apparently you can only transform objects on blocks not on entities so I just went ahead and um, made her a live loot ball a uh, live loot crate so she is alive she's very much alive she won't attack me she won't attack anything I disabled that I could make her attack other zombies for instance but I just decided to make her stand still like that and um, yeah, so basically you can just loot her and um, it's just like a normal loot when you kill her um, she drops the same stuff as, as she would now um, but now she's empty and you can just move along and she'll be there um, I modded her in so she would spawn into a wasteland um, basically I started out spawning her in at a 0.1% so uh, uh, yeah the decimal of a percent um, chance of spawning in as a regular zombie entity but she spawned three times near this house and I disabled the entities and that's because she's a, a non-enemy non entity um, you can still kill her she will still give you experience points um, but she will remain empty so there's no double looting um, yeah so that's it Basically, um, I'm start started working on NPCs. I am going to um, work on using the casino tokens as payment systems. Um, might this might sound a little bit funny, but maybe I'm going in the eBay direction, if you know what I mean. Um, but live entities and coins, not yet. We'll be looking into it, but um, can't guarantee guarantee anything. So um, yeah, wrapping this up, closing the hatch. No one knows we're here. This works from downstairs as well, so uh, if you're down here, no one knows you're here. So uh, that's always good. Um, yeah, so we saw that save the last time. Um, we saw this the last time. And um, as always, if you liked it, leave a like. Uh, if you want to see more mods, leave a comment. Um, if you... Uh, like it re uh, really like it just subscribe for more and uh, if you've got suggestions let me know um yep see you next time bye